In this lesson, we are going to discuss common problems due to Spring Boot and JDK version mismatch. I would demonstrate a sample problem scenario and then I would provide the solution, the guidance. Now, following are a few common problems due to Spring Boot and JDK version mismatch or incompatibility. If you see on the left hand side, it can be unsupported major minor version. This error basically similar to unsupported class version error and it occurs when the Spring Boot application was compiled with a higher JDK version than the one that is being used to run. We can have linkage error. This occurs when the JVM cannot link a class that the Spring Boot application is trying to load due to some incompatibility with the JDK version. Abstract method error. It happens when Spring Boot application is trying to call an abstract method that is not implemented, which might be due to changes in JDK. Similarly, there is no such field error. This occurs when the Spring Boot application is trying to access a field that does not exist, possibly because it was removed or renamed in a different JDK version. So at a high level, there are n number of errors you can encounter due to Spring Boot and JDK version mismatch. Let me show you a practical example of it and finally we will check out what is the solution. The first thing that I am going to do is I am going to this particular URL https colon double slash github dot com J2 expert 2015 Spring Boot debug. I am going to download this particular project. Let me click on download zip. If I go to this download location i have this and another thing that i am going to do for demonstration purpose this particular download is against the master branch i am going to download another version which is open jdk 17 so the master branch is good with jdk 8 but this this particular branch is good with open jdk 17 and you can see the spring boot version also i have mentioned let me download this as well now both are downloaded let me extract them Once extracted, I am moving them to a particular location. Let me go to Eclipse now. Click on File, Import, type Maven, select existing Maven projects and let me go to the project location. Let me select Spring Boot Debug Master, select Folder, Finish. Now, let me build this project. So, right click, Run as Maven Build. I am typing Clean and Install over here, clicking on Skip Test, Apply run now by the time the build is going on if i go to my windows and preferences here i have jdk8 let me click on cancel and if i go to my pom.xml and if i expand this you can see i have a very old version of spring boot over here it is 1.4.0 and the jdk that i am using inside eclipse is 1.8 let me maximize the console okay Build is done. Minimize this. Let me expand the project directory. So, I am not going into the code that I have. It's a very standard Spring Boot application where I have the application file and I have a sample controller. Let me run this application file. Right click, run as Java application. Let me maximize the console. Here I can see started Hello World application in 17 seconds. Let me go to browser. Type in localhost 8080, press enter. So, it is giving me Hello World Spring Boot. So, right now what is happening? I have JDK 8 and I have used this particular version 1.4. something and everything is running. So, this is 1.4.0. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to stop this particular application and I am going to change the JDK. Instead of JDK 8, we are going to use JDK 17. In my system, I have JDK 17. I am going to add that. Let me click on add standard VM. I am going to that particular directory where my JDK is present. So, here I have JDK 17. I am going to select this particular folder. This is my JDK 17. Click on finish and instead of this JDK 8, I am going to use this one. Click on apply, apply and close. Let me check whether that JDK is selected or not. Yes, this is selected. Now, I am going to run the same application now instead of JDK 8, it is going to run on JDK 17 now. Let me remove all this console related logs. Let me check whether the project JDK has been changed or not going to properties. Here this is still JDK 1.8. Let me click on edit, click on alternate JRE, install JREs. Now I am pointing here, apply, apply and close, finish, apply and close. Now this Spring Boot application should run on JDK 17. So, right click, run as Java application, maximize the console. Now, you can see 
various kind of errors are being thrown it cannot load the configuration class java.lang.illegal state exception so there could be numerous kind of exceptions apart from the exceptions i was showing in the powerpoint there could be multiple other errors or exceptions as well so i am not going into those details now what is the solution so here we were using Spring Boot 1.4.0 and JDK 1.8. We were good. Now we are using JDK 17 and 1.4 is working no more. What I need to do? I need to change the Spring Boot version over here. So the project that I had, let me remove this particular project and delete this. I am going to import the other project which was specifically for JDK 17. So this is the one. Now what is the difference it has? If I open the pom.xml, what you can see over here, this is with Spring Boot 2.5.5. This is much later version, much advanced version. Let me see what happens. I'm going to import this, import existing Maven project, browse to the project location, selecting this particular project, select folder, click on finish. Let me remove the console. Again, build the project, run as Maven build. Again, I'm putting clean and install, skip test, apply, run. Build is successful. Let me open the Spring Boot application file. Right click, run as Java application. Let me maximize the console. Okay, one thing I needed to check. Let me stop this. Now, here I need to check what is the Java version that I am using properties. Now, let me just change it to JDK 17. Finish, apply, apply, and close. Now, let me check what is the JDK version it is using. Go to properties and it is using JDK 17. Fine. You must check what actual version it is using. So, I am clicking on cancel. Let me open the application file. Hello world application Java. Right click. Run as Java application. Maximize the console. So, you can see starting this application using Java 17. And the application is now started. Let me go to the browser, refresh this page and the response is coming. So what we did after change in the JDK, we had to increase the Spring Boot version and then it worked fine. Now there could be multiple versions of JDK. There could be multiple versions of Spring Boot. How do we know when to use which version? Now for that, you need to apply a trick. You have to type this particular URL, which is https colon double slash docs.spring.io slash spring boot slash docs. This URL you have to remember or you have to note down. In future, Spring Boot documentation may improve and it can contain some matrix for our use. But at this point of time, as per my knowledge, there is no clear cut documentation about this compatibility across multiple Spring Boot versions and JDK versions. So here what I can do, if I go to the old version which I am using, you can see these are different Spring Boot versions. So if I go to say 1.4.0, this one, go to reference, HTML and here if you go to the system requirements, you click on system requirements. At the very beginning, you can see by default Spring Boot 1.4.0 release requires Java 7 and Spring Framework 4.3.2 release or above. So it needs Java 7 and above, but it was pretty old, so it was having problem with Java 17. Now let me go back and maybe for some advanced versions, what I can do. Again, I am pasting that URL. Say I am using some newer version 2.5 or something. So here I am. Let me click, go to reference, HTML, scroll down, getting started, system requirements. Here it is saying Spring Boot 2.5.0 requires Java 8 and it is compatible up to and including Java 16. So if it is 2.5.0, it would support Java 8, not below that and up to 16. So let me check about the recent versions of Spring, which version they support. I am going to the very bottom. Let me select 3.0.6, go to reference, HTML, getting started, system requirements. Now you can see Spring Boot 3.0.6 requires Java 17 and is compatible up to and including Java 20. So if I try to run 3.0.6 under 17, it won't run. So in this way, we have a very generic idea about the specific Spring Boot version we are using and the JDK that is required. So before you use any particular Spring Boot version, I would suggest you should be using this particular URL which is docs.spring.io 
slash print boot slash docs here if you go to the proper location you would be able to figure out what is the proper jdk version and accordingly you can proceed i hope this video could be useful for you in case you like the video i would request you to subscribe to this channel so that in future if there is any interesting video you would get the notification thanks all thanks for your time